Hi folks, welcome, my name is Martin, and in this video we'll be taking a closer look at a game called The Cleaner. This is a game designed by me and my partner in crime, Janine Valetti, and The Cleaner is our entry to the 2018 Solitaire Print and Play Contest, which as I'm recording this video is in its judging phase right now on BoardGameGeek.com. In this video we will be looking at game components, we'll be looking at how to set up the game, and we'll do a little bit of gameplay run through. We'll see you at the table. In this game, you take the role of the cleaner. Your job is to clean up evidence from crime scenes in which murders have been committed. You must grab your equipment cards, make your way to the crime scene, use your equipment efficiently, and clean up as much evidence as possible before time runs out and the police arrive. In this game, we have 36 evidence tiles. 17 for Crime Scene 1, and 19 for Crime Scene 2. We also have 19 equipment cards, 12 basic equipment cards, as you can see here, and 7 advanced equipment cards, as you can see here. If you're playing Crime Scene 1, you'll only need the basic equipment cards. If you're playing Crime Scene 2, take both the basic and advanced equipment cards and shuffle them together to form one deck. We have a player board with a crime scene time tracker and you place your crime scene time tracker token here and then that time will count down as the game goes on. Now we also have the crime scene game board. On this side we have crime scene one and on the flip side we have crime scene number two. Also included in the print and play file are four optional tokens marked one, two, three, four, and these are to keep track of the actions that you have taken on your turn. You're gonna to need to provide some cubes in different colors to represent the amount of effort that you're exerting as you are trying to clean the crime scene. You'll have some yellow effort cubes which represent small effort, orange effort cubes which represent medium effort, red effort cubes which represent high effort, Blue effort cubes are very high effort, green effort cubes are intense effort, and black effort cubes represent inhuman effort. You've also got a white cube, or really any cube that is a different color than these, and that is going to represent if you have a bonus or not. Finally, you're going to need to provide at least seven six-sided dice. Now that we've taken a look at the components, let's focus on game setup. First, decide if you're going to play Crime Scene 1 or Crime Scene 2 and place the game board with your selected crime scene face up in the play area. If this is your first time, I recommend playing Crime Scene 1. Now that you've selected your crime scene, in this case Crime Scene 1, you can take the evidence tiles for the other crime scene, in this case Crime Scene 2, and put them back in the box because they're not going to be needed. Search the evidence tiles for the victim, tile and the murder weapon tile and place these on their appropriate spots on the crime scene. Now we shuffle the evidence tiles and then we draw a number of evidence tiles equal to the game difficulty we wish to play in this session. Draw six evidence tiles for easy difficulty, eight for normal and ten for hard. So we're going to draw uh, eight tiles because we want to play a normal difficulty game. Now that we've selected the evidence tiles, we're going to place them on their corresponding spots on the game board. The unused evidence tiles for your selected crime scene, you can place them back in the box. Now let's look at the equipment cards. Since we're playing Crime Scene 1, we won't be needing these advanced equipment cards in this game, so these can go back in the box. Now take your selected equipment cards, in this case the basic cards, go ahead and give them a good shuffle, and then place them face down in your play area. Now you take your effort cubes and you place them in a supply beside your play area within easy reach. Now place your player board in the play area 
and place your time tracker on the starting time. The default is 60 minutes. You're going to have 60 minutes to clean this crime scene. Place one six-sided die within easy reach beside your player board. That's going to be your effort D6. Place the other six-sided dice in a supply by your play area. Place the optional action tracker tokens on your game board. These will be used to keep track of your actions. Place your bonus cube near the pocket watch in the upper left of your player board. Place your reference card within easy reach in your play area. Now you're ready to play the cleaner.